Hi everyone and welcome back. My name's Alison, the online piano and the online violin cheater. Today I'm going to take you through an easy violin version of Faded by Alan Walker. Again, this has been quite a requested video, so I thought I would do that. If you want to know where to get the music to this, it's free to download as it usually is. There'll be a link directly underneath this video um, and all the links are going to be there. Some, some links, just go check in the description. There's going to be loads of links there. So if you want to know how to play Faded for Easy Violin, then grab your copy of the sheet music and let's get going. So as usual, you guys know the drill by this, uh, by now that, um, oh, that's just introduction there. It's going to start here. So you've got all the finger numbers and you've got all the string letters that you're going to be on above it. So you've got second finger on D, second finger on D, you're still on open D, second finger on D, open D, and so on. Open A, second finger on D, you know, you guys kind of get the drill, but that's fairly self-explanatory. There are some repeats in here, so if I just quickly, um, if I just quickly take you through those, if I can, if I can get it organised. So you're going to be starting, obviously starting at the beginning. Um, then you're going to be playing. Start from the beginning. You're going to be playing all the way through until you get to this bit where you've got DSL coda down the bottom here. Then what happens is you're going to go up to 22 where you've got like this little sign. I don't know if you guys can see this at, at 22, you've got a little sign there. Then you're going to play it all the way through until it says to coda. And then you're going to jump all the way down to the bottom there. So you play it all, start from the beginning, play it all the way through until you get to DSL coda. Jump over to 22, play from here, those three lines, until you get to coda then simply jump all the way to the bottom and then you can finish it there. I'm not going to play this all the way through because hopefully I've got a performance video. If I have, that will be linked directly underneath this video, but I'm just going to play enough to kind of get you going. It's quite repetitive as well. So I'm not going to play it all the way through because it's, you know, once you kind of know the, the verse and the chorus, then it's easy to do. So if, let me just take you through where your fingers need to go um, on the E string, E string, I'm um, just thinking if we've got any, I don't think actually we have, I don't think we've got any notes on the E string. So starting on the A string, you've got open A, obviously. You've got Bs are gonna be back because they're B flat. If you've got second fingers on the A string for C naturals, they're gonna be here just above the first finger dot. Your third fingers are gonna be here as, as normal. Um, on the D string, you're gonna have open D, first finger on the D as usual. Second fingers are gonna be back because they're F naturals and third fingers are gonna be here as usual. I don't think we've got anything. Oh, we've got one on the G, which is at the start, third finger, sorry, on the G string here, which is just on the dot as usual. So it's up to you if you wanna play the introduction. just reminded me I just want to mention this is not in the original key it's been taken one semitone down or one half step down the reason why it isn't in the original key and you guys always <laughs> some of you guys tell me off for doing this but the reason why it's not in the original key is because there were about a million sharps in the key signature even for me that was tricky to play in not tricky in terms of I can't do it, but tricky in terms of it's just very awkward for the violin. The violin wasn't made for playing in all those keys. This isn't technically a, a violin piece. It was written for a singer on, on synths and, you know, whatever, a different instrument other than the violin. So therefore it didn't really suit the violin because you're having to play, play lots of fingers in lots of aw awkward positions and stretching and stuff. So I took the decision to take it down a little bit um just just because it was just going to be easier i play this for my own repertoire when i go and perform at weddings and corporate events and all that kind of thing and i play it in this key as well i wouldn't even dream of playing it in the original key that it was in just because it's it's just going to sound horrendous and it's just too much it's just it's, it's too much it's too much hard work it's too much kind of upkeep if if you like it's very very high maintenance to do things like that so just take it down a key and it's not a problem. So, starting from the beginning, the main part. And so on there. I did slip in a couple of fourth fingers there instead of open strings. If you want to do that, do that. 
I always put in open strings as the first port of call just because they generally are easier, except for the open A at the very end of the first line that you've got there. So you've just done. So I did do an a, uh, an, a, a fourth finger for the A at the start of the bar, but you have to do an A with the fourth finger for the last A because you're on the G. You don't really want to go. Get that you get that messy G string in in between that so I have put that as a fourth finger there um, again everything else is you've just got where are you now and so on the fourth line Then it's up to you if you want to play these these next little bits. You know, so it's up to you if you want to play those those little notes there, or the instrumental part in the backing would normally play those those little bits there. So again, that's pretty much it. It just repeats uh, from the chorus again, uh, sorry, from the verse again. Then where are you now? Where are you now? It's pretty self-explanatory. As far as pieces go, it's actually um, on its own. It's not great to play on its own. You've really got to play it with a backing track. So there are places where I will put a link to where you can get the backing track for this. And also you can change the key of the backing track as well. So um, I'll either have that on my, as a direct link on my website or somewhere else where you can get it. But if you want the backing track um, for this, then I will, I'll, I'll, ha I'll, I'll put a link underneath it anyway, whatever I manage to find. So you guys can play it in this key with the backing track. But when you get it going with the backing track and you've got all the drums and the synths and uh, all the background instruments and that kind of thing. It is actually, it is a lot better than it sounds just kind of playing it on its own. So there we go. I don't think there's anything else I need to mention. Um, thank you for watching. I hope you've enjoyed the tutorial. Please don't forget to subscribe to my channel. It's free and it just alerts you when I've got new videos available. Plus it also helps my channel to become popular on YouTube so I can help lots of other people like yourself who are just starting out maybe and want to learn an instrument, piano, violin, whatever. Um, don't forget to like, the video as well. So thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.